Number 22, letter A. Find the voltage drop, which is just the voltage, in an extension cord having a 0.06 ohm resistance and through which 5 amps is flowing. So we got to find voltage. Question. We know the resistance. They told that to us is going to be 0.06 ohms. And the current here is in amps, 5 amps. So everything's in the standard units. We've seen plenty of problems like this. This will become ingrained within you. You got to use Ohm's law. I is equal to V over R, meaning the current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. You can also memorize this one, VIR. V is equal to IR. They're both the same, just algebraically reworked. I'm going to use this one, Y, because huh, it's already solved for V, and that's what I need to find. So, just plug it in. 5 times the resistance, 0 0.06. And the voltage here will become what? So let's use that calculator, even though you could probably figure it out from the... Uh, work over there, should be 0.3, but let's see, 5 times 0.06, it's still early, but yes, okay, good, I haven't lost my mind completely, 0.3, and I guess 2 sig fig 0, 0 volts, okay, so that's the uh, potential difference, and the voltage uh, basically being um, supplied, more or less, okay, so this was letter A, let's do letter B, so it says B, a cheaper cord utilizes thinner wire and has a resistance of 0.3 ohms. What is the voltage drop now when 5 amps flows? So again, what do we know? We know the same piece of information. The only thing that's going to be changing here is going to be the resistance. Right? So it's no longer 0.06, it's going to be 0.3. So I can use the same formula, VIR. The voltage will then be equal to the current. It still stays 5, and the resistance now is going to be 0.3 ohms, right? So here now, what's basically a third of 5, well, it's simply going to be 1.5. And that's in terms of volts. Okay? So that's now the voltage drop. Okay? Now, it says then letter C. Why is the voltage to whatever... Why is the voltage... Yeah, to whatever appliance... Why is the voltage to whatever appliance is being used? Reduced, sorry. Oh, boy. So it happens when you do videos at uh, 6 a.m. Um, what is it reduced by uh, this amount? So why is it? Okay. So basically, if you notice, right, here's 0.3. Here's 1.5. If you did like a little ratio here, if you want to figure out how many times larger this voltage drop is than uh, this one, you can do a division, right? You can take 1.5 and divide it by 0 0.3. And if you were to do that, what would you arrive at? You would arrive at a value of about 5. Okay, meaning that this potential drop is five times larger than uh, this one. Now, why is that? Well, that's because the resistance in B is five times larger than A. Do the division again. Okay, you can take 0.3 and divide it by 0 0.06. So basically what's happening is the larger the resistance in the wire, the larger the potential drop that happens, meaning that if you had a wire... And between these two points, let's say the voltage here was, you know, 100. For case A, and we'll take a look at this point. In case A, if I know the voltage drop, if I know the resistance, basically, and they also told us the current, but the current's the same, so I'm just going to look at the resistance. If the resistance here was going to be, uh, uh, should I use these? No yeah, I'll use the numbers. If the resistance here was going to be... Um, 0 0.06 and I knew that there was five amps of current flowing through um, and I'm talking about you know this arbitrary point to this arbitrary point what I realize then is that the voltage then at this point here will be equal to 100 minus then 0.3 okay which would have been 99.7 volts all right and if I'm thinking about the current flowing this particular direction this is then the voltage being supplied to your appliance. Okay, so the appliance essentially is receiving. The, the, your, your, your panel, you know, in the house is sending out 100 volts. It's traveling through the wires in your walls. And some of the potential there is being sucked out because there's resistance in the wire, just like water flowing through a tube. Okay, and by the time that this current reaches then this particular point, let's say this is your appliance, it's receiving this amount of potential now. So it's not receiving the full 100, it's receiving a little less. But now what happens if you use a cheaper wire, okay? 
So same exact thing. I'm going to same exact thing. I got two points, right? And let's assume the same 100 starting voltage. But now the resistance is going to go up. So it's going to be now 0 0.3 ohms of resistance instead of the 0.6. So what do we calculate? And remember, we're still assuming 5 amps of current flowing through. So what did we indeed calculate then? We calculated that at point B, the voltage drop is now 1.5. Not the voltage at B, but the voltage drop, right? So what that means now, and I, I point B, I mean at the appliance. I keep, you know, I'm probably confusing you there because this is option B and I'm calling this point B. Um, what I'm saying is the potential drop across this now wire, this cheaper extension cord, was now going to be 1.5 volts. So in other words, if it started at 100, the voltage here would be what? What? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Right. 98.5 volts. So why is the voltage now at the appliance lower in the second case? Because there was more resistance, right? This resistance is sucking out potential, essentially. It's like friction. So your panel supplied 100 volts to the appliance, but what only got to the appliance was 98.5 volts. Okay? So that's the whole idea between, behind potential drop. Okay? Um, all right, and then it says, what is the effect on the appliance? Well, what do you think? Smaller voltage doesn't have as much power. Okay? Depends on, you know, uh, it, it probably won't be that noticeable. You're not really talking about a huge um, drop in in uh, productivity. You might say, well, there's a, you know, there could be, actually, is there a, is there a, um, actually, here's a, here's an interesting question. Does the appliance drop by five times or, or is this voltage five times larger than this? No, it's not. Although the potential drop was, the potential drop was five times larger. If that potential drop is over now, or that potential drop is um, uh, measured from, let's say, a voltage of 100, or we have to take that potential drop and apply it to basically a starting voltage of 100, it's really minuscule. But I mean, imagine this voltage here was, you know, I don't know, two. Then you're going to be talking about much more, uh, the, the potential drop will have a, a, lot, a much larger effect. But appliances, basically, they, they work off of essentially, uh, um, you know, standard 120 volts here. So it's basically going to be minuscule. Anyway, I'm sure you're tired with that explanation. I'm tired as well. So I will leave you with that. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.